What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the 300% damage incinerator behemoth. You know it was coming, I knew it was coming, and here it is. Two different versions with jump unit. It actually works with jumping. I'm gonna show you this, guys, in a bit. First off, let's just showcase a few destructive examples against my own account. My own level 150 max Arthur with an armor plating module and healing 800,000 HP, and he gets deleted buy this thing look bye bye physical shields there you go man doesn't care about the physical arthur shields and now i'm healing up a little and then i were doing this again every time i trigger healing on this one that drone i showed in the beginning actually gives me plus 115 percent damage with overdrive running at the moment and the pilot skills that's more than 300 percent okay that's a fully max ravana right there bye poof this is insane that's my own account and i'm just using it to be slaughtered at this moment and you know guys this is gonna be a good video when I'm wearing those glasses. You know this much, right? So, uh, yeah, ladies and gents, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet before we jump into the gameplay. There's gonna be a giveaway coming up with 200 super powerful Meta robots given away here on the channel. So, again, if you haven't yet subscribed and you don't wanna miss out on those, by the way, look, the middle finger is still there. Uh, if you don't wanna miss out on those, then subscribe and make sure to be notified. Here, one more test before we go into the gameplay and actually slaughtering some poor enemies. Um, this is me testing how the Hawk works against the, uh, the Hawk resistance against this, because it's supposed to be, you know, irresistible, so to speak, the Hawk resistance, the, but the, the, the bump effect actually ignores it. So uh, take a look at this, okay? Fully maxed Hawk, and look how fast it goes due to the bumping explosion every time. When the bump effect fills up, I actually get to kill the hawk in mid-air. That's a very special thing that not, not next to nothing can actually do. It's only, this is I believe the only thing that can bypass the resistance and yeah, corrosion. Corrosion can do it too. But those bump effects, they actually, and this is a confirmation now, they bypass the resistance. And have you seen this? Have you seen this, guys? I just figured out, due to the current skirmish, another video with that is coming, that you can actually jump with the behemoth and have all four weapons active. If you press jump and instantly deploy at the same time, pretty much, your weapons, then you get to jump with all four weapons being active in the air. I never knew that was possible. I just found that out today. And I was like, okay, wow, I have to put this into the video. This is just the best ever. And it's, oh man. So yeah, ladies and gents, hopefully you're ready for some slaughtering action here against the enemies. Jumping in like a maniac into the middle of the base and just hammering some super crazy looking rockets around the corner. Noticing that nobody actually wants to show himself. So, all right, in this case, I guess I'll better pack it again. And whoop, there's a big shotgun hit. And no, shock train hit from the Ripper. Fate, greetings to you guys. I'm saying this here because we have, and uh, we're meeting again later. And look at him, look. He underestimated my jump range. Boom! And I just killed somebody with the splash explosion and then killed uh, the Ripper here. Take a look at that. I'm firing at the leech with the shock train and something else is getting the bump effect explosion. And boom! That was a Loki. The Loki just got completely deleted because he just stood at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's just hilarious. And then I noticed the scorpion jumping onto me. And you know what I can do with a jump unit? I can actually make sure I don't get flattened by that scorpion and can even retaliate with about 300% damage into his face. So yeah, that's uh, I guess a good way to do it. Here's a uh, light nightingale over there. Clearly made a wrong move right there. Lost half his HP in two seconds. All right, so let's move on and take positions that normally you don't see a behemoth standing on, like this for example. There's a shell robot. Hey shell, I don't really care much about your shields anymore, buddy. They are, they have lost all their frightening effects or all their scare. Although as long as you're hiding behind the cover, I guess I won't be able to do much against that. Oh man, this is just crazy here, guys. And uh, yeah, so come on, come on out here, buddies. That's right, I'm gonna get myself ready for another jump. And when the jump comes, I wanna do some damage. Hold on, hold on. Okay, oh, there's an Aochun. Aochun trying to snipe me here. All right, let's go for it. Jumping into one. And there we go. Three, uh, four weapons are active in midair, and I was able to deal quite some damage to him. Uh, but it seems like he was already aware of the possibility that I might jump. He probably got killed by me already before. Look, that, that deals damage to him, got rid of him pretty much, and then finishing off the Ripper here real quick to the left side with the next, I think, leech it was. 
So, uh, yeah, jumping into the next behemoth here. This time it's the one without jump unit, but with the healing module. And every time I trigger healing, the, mo the drone will give you me 115% more damage. And uh, at the same time, I'm also healing, obviously. And here he is, the Ripper, and he's like shaking his head. He's greeting me and saying hi. And I'm like, okay, man, let's let's not fight anymore. Let's scratch it. We, you and me, we're not we're now gonna you know stand next to each other. Okay, so let's do this. There's a Titan right there, an Ao Ming. 115% uh, damage activated, and my goodness, look how fast he goes. Holy smokes, 500 meters range. Somebody suppressed me. That now makes it so that I can no longer deal full damage, but here's, a, here's an advantage that these weapons have compared to other ad weapons. This bump effect always does the same damage. It doesn't care about you being suppressed or not. From what I can tell, if you fill up the bump meter, you'll do the full bump meter explosion damage no matter what. If you're suppressed or not, doesn't matter. So even being suppressed, you can still deal, dish out a ton of damage with the, um, you know, with a, with a, uh, a bump effect on these weapons. Here, double damage activated against that Titan, and he's like, what the flip just gone? This has happened here. Here, the Ripper is next to me here. Greetings, man. <laughs> We're standing next to each other right there, and he's looking like he's a healer and he's a healer That means he can see the hit points of his friends, right? Remember that so when he looks at his friend Ruzzard right there with a Titan He can actually see me flattening the crap out of that Titan right here Look he can actually see the HP going down from his buddy right there because he is a healer. <laughs> oh, man He enters flight again because someone else started attacking him and I just deleted that Ao Ming in like, I don't know, three seconds or so? Man, that was insane. Now we have another guy up. I am suppressed, but uh, again, we learned that this doesn't really matter. Triple damage right now going. I was trying to pack it, and then I realized, wait a minute. He's actually not firing at me. He must be reloading. All right, in that case, let's just keep going here. <laughs> he's still with me here, and he's probably going to start the next flight ability any moment now. There's another Titan. Oh, no, you're not when you get destroyed. All right, so... Next Titan coming around the corner here. All right. So, what's go what's it gonna be here, Arthur? What's it gonna be? The Ripper has spawned in an Ao Min in the Minos Titan, and this time he's actually lasering me down. He decided to, <laughs> to that the the ceasefire has ended apparently. Uh, okay, so uh, I I'm still I'm still gonna be ignoring him and gonna go for the Arthur because in my opinion that's the more in interesting target because he's got a physical shield that I can simply ignore. Boom! There he goes. Bye, Arthur. Hope you had a good time, man. Here's an Ar Ares. Okay, instantly bringing up that shield. Oh, it's the same guy. That, that's the dude from the Aochun before. He already gotten to know this uh, this weapon here. Uh, so, how much damage did we do? With awesome music, 6.7 da million damage. We're jumping into the next match. Woo! Yeah! Look at that guy. He was trying to hide behind the corner. I'm like, nah. Dude, I have splash damage, okay? It's not big splash, but it's enough to hit you there. So, yeah. Take that, dude. Oh, and by the way, there's a Cerberus coming right there behind the wall. I'm ready for him. Here we go. I'm already sending the bombs before he even arrives at the corner. Let's do the same thing again when he comes to the other side. And Peekaboo should not have gone that close to the corner, my friend. Yo, those be guys, now that I know you can actually jump with a behemoth and fire at the same time, that changes things. I may actually be playing the behemoth a little more now because you can be mobile and be firing with full firepower. And that's something completely new. I never knew that was possible. I thought you couldn't do that. Apparently you can. You just have to press and jump and then deploy within a millisecond of each other and then it works. So I'm now getting hit big time by the Pulsar Leech. But don't worry, I'm wearing the glasses, that means we're gonna take revenge. So here we go, guys. Yeah! The explosion, guys, the explosion did it. Uh, the bump effect, we did massive damage and then he stealthed, but he still got the bump meter filled up, boom, and he was gone. Look at that guy, triple damage against the Ao Ming. He didn't even know what hit him right there. He was like, frick, I, a second ago I was Phil, and then a second later I'm done. What's what's going on? It's, is that, am I not playing a Titan? What is that? And he, uh, apparently he didn't see that four incinerator behemoth sitting around the corner. And yeah, so, uh, there we go. <laughs> and now it's the end. It, all it takes, all it takes for me to die is someone to be fully committed to killing me, right? 
And here, this guy, clearly, he is fully committed. And uh, and that means he's not only going to lose his robot, he did. He lost his entire robot now with Last Stand and everything. But, you know, he was committed enough to do all that, so he gets me killed. And that's the problem that the Behemoth has. As soon as somebody commits to killing you, there isn't anything you can do. You're just going to be done. That's it, right? So, a few rocket explosions. Here, he thinks he's safe there. Man, this is a rocket video, friend. That means splash damage. That means no safety for you. Boom. Boom. All right. Sending some smaller bombing as well. Yeah, you see that Arthur depleting his HP very fast. There you go. Match is over. Okay, so again, ladies and gents, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you should really do this tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, but within the next days, there's going to be a giveaway coming on. Make sure to be ready for it and and uh, notice that when it comes. All right, and uh, if you like the content also, how about you guys give me a thumbs up if you like the content, right? I rarely er ever asked about thumbing, thumbing up. That's uh, something that every other YouTuber on this planet seems to be doing. Um, but uh, yeah, so why not, right? If you guys like this content, uh, then uh, give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments maybe uh, if, if, Did you know that you could jump with the behemoth and have all the weapons? Did you know that? I didn't dude. I'm playing the behemoth so much right with for making videos with heavy weapons and such I never knew that was possible. How is it possible that I don't know one and a half years after the release of the behemoth I finally get to know that you can jump and fire at the same time. That's insane. That's so, it's actually almost sad that it took me that long to figure this out. Why did no one ever tell me about it, guys? You knew I like playing Behemoth and I always hated the fact that it's so immobile. Why did you not tell me about it? Gosh, darn it. <laughs> you guys could have let me know. All right. I know there's a scorpion coming and I don't want to give him the opportunity of jumping on me, so I'd rather jump on him and uh, take him down before he gets anything. I think that's the first time that the scorpion got jumped on by a behemoth, right? Anyways, uh, getting back in cover here, we have a leech with um, wasp uh, firing at me, but he's just reloading. He entered reloading mode now. And I'm just gonna flatten a, a couple of bombs over him, uh, sending him his way. And here, jumping with four weapons active again. The interesting thing is you can actually undeploy as well. You can deploy it then in the air, and then fire a couple of shots, and then you can undeploy in the air, and keep walking. So, you could make this a thermite video as well. You could technically, technically you could run thermite, behemoth, activate, jump, and fire all four thermites, and then deactivate the running, uh, the, the deployment again, and keep walking once you land. It's actually possible. Yo, there's a lot of things that I need to be testing with you guys now. And uh, one of them is also doing the current skirmish. It's a very fun skirmish with five times behemoths, and this is actually how I figured this out, that this is possible. Somebody else did it, and I was like, wait, what? Did you just fire at me with all four weapons while jumping? Did you really just do that? And then I tested it, and I was like, whoa, that's possible. Yeah. All right, so here, uh, I'm j this guy would normally be able to kill me, no problem. I'm not really having a chance against a full meta leech with last stand and, uh, no, sorry, blitz with last stand and everything here. Uh, but in this case, I was able to just, uh, you know, jump away every time, take my distance from him, right? So uh, here comes this guy down to last stand, he goes, and now I would die if it wasn't for the amazing support coming out of nowhere from uh, Kikin Malan. Every time I want to read a name, it's such a long one. Uh, thank you for the support, my friend. That allows me to survive, kill that uh, blitz robot for you here, and get back in cover. Jumping away before I get frozen and killed. There we go. Nice, that Auchun is almost done. Let's reduce the music a little bit again. That was only for the real fun sound. And here comes the Auchun. Bop! Gone and this guy bam bam bam. He would be dead now, but of course it's a Ravana and he's got it unlimited invincibilities there from what it feels like. But okay, last action here jumping in and doing triple damage against the Arthur from the enemy team here. We've already seen what what it what it does in the previous intro of this video. Unfortunately, I wasn't really able to do all the damage here. Uh, because many of my rockets hit the wall and, and such stuff like that. But we're doing tremendous damage to here. We dropped him by 50%. I think that's more than we can ask for. And then he was like, oh, thank goodness I got rid of this guy. And I just spawned the next one. He was like, what? Again with this? Are you kidding me? 
Yeah. All right, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, there is going to be a video coming up very soon where I'm testing the light versus the medium versus the heavy version of these new category weapons. Down to last stand with him, then one shot over there, killing the Ares or whatever it was, and that is it. So yeah, ladies and gents, stay tuned also for the test video where we're the, doing the testing playground to find out the, how much more damage or less damage the light versus medium versus heavy does because one of them seems to be causing the bump effect faster than the other and uh, and with that who knows maybe the light weapon can actually do more damage than the medium on the long run that is something i want to test so thanks for watching guys have a good one manny signing off bye, -bye.